Hey guys, welcome back to Trigger TV. We are outside KWA's booth and we have Paola and we have Michael to help us out. I got that right, correct? Yep. Fantastic. So we're gonna have a look at the new stuff that you could take us through, would that be great? Yeah, for sure. So we have the TK45. Um, we have the T6. And then unreleased we have the Mod 1 and Mod 2 of the QRF series, which are going to be the ones that either Mod 2 takes the TK45 mags, Mod 1 takes its own uh, proprietary magazine. Can we see them? You absolutely can. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Welcome to Qua. KWA. Yes, exactly. <laughs> This will be our Mod 2. This is the one that takes the actual KWA TK45 magazines. They are compatible, though you can get the ones without the actual bottom portion on it, mm -hmm. just for this when it is released. We actually have a lot of TK45 mags. So, That's good. On yeah. Mod 2, you'll be able to use them. They are perfectly compatible. They're 120 rounds, so okay. not a big issue. No, the thing about that stock with PTWs, we usually have an issue with battery space. Mm -hmm. So, um, what can we do to, what kind of batteries would you recommend? I know I can't actually recommend the specific company, but I know there are a few that do make uh, additional uh, battery space compartments on it. Mm -hmm. That'll go in actually just right about right here. Are you talking about AirTech Studios? I can't confirm anything just because we don't have any official partnerships as of now. No, that's okay. We buy all their stuff all the time because, I mean, because I, of I things like that. I can confirm that it does fit. Okay. That's about it though. Okay. Oh, so the one that originally fits the TK45. C can yep. fit on these ones. Uh, these ones, aside from the actual rear stock portion, is exactly the same as the TK45. Ah, just to let you know, guys, the Airsoft Amigos is getting one of these to review very, very soon. It's actually on a plane. While we're here in the US, it was sent from the US to Canada, and we're not there to get it. Ah, okay. I mean, everybody wanted the Mod 1, but because it was so popular, we couldn't get it. <laughs> oh my god. Mod 1s okay. are lovely Please, little Please, tell compar us about it. Okay. Mod 1s are a lovely little comparison that looks like a bunch of other things that I also can't <gasps> reference technically because of... Do you mean an MP5? <gasps> Possibly. I don't know. But it has the lovely proprietary magazines. We did that just because... Normally speaking, if we try to make it non-proprietary magazines, you have to basically go around the market and figure out what works, what doesn't, and then you have to decide on something that works yeah. or doesn't. And the, basically, you're not going to make everybody happy with that, so we went with our own proprietary magazine. I totally get it. Make it work perfectly every single time. Understood. I, I, can, I can vouch for that. That's a great idea. Everybody loves proprietary stuff. <laughs> yeah, okay, agree. Anyways, um... On the proprietary... It's a hard word. English is difficult. I, I can English. I can English too. It's very hard. Anyways, the um, proprietary magazines are going to be 80 rounds. And they, like I said, should work perfectly every time just because we went through the process of making them specifically for the gun. Mm. If I remember correctly, Matt is a huge fan of this, mainly because of M its MP5 style-ish body. So, um, we had a question. I'm, I directed it to Tom, but I could probably direct it to you. No more. Could you switch out the receiver on this with the mod 2? Um, officially, don't know yet. Um, I haven't gotten to play with the production models. Uh, just from a glance, it looks like you probably could. I know just from the TK45 onto that, it should technically work. It's just going from the... Um, 9mm AR magazine wells to the AR style magazine wells, those are not compatible just because they're of a different length. These are things that we are definitely going to sell over at Trigger. Um, we're getting them. Uh, we're not the official distributor, but we're getting them nevertheless. Is there anything else that you'd like to show us? Anything cool and extra and awesome? I have a mole. I mean... Oh, okay. Do you need to see a doctor? I mean, I probably should. Okay. We'll just say it's cancer. It's cancer, he says. Okay. Yeah, I went on the internet, definitely cancer. Okay, there you go. There you go. Right, um, uh, like I said, are there any new products? Oh, Black Panther. Oh, yes. Yeah, and somebody left the light on. Right, so the you have you. the <laughs> PTW, the Ronin T6. Yeah, they're both T6. Mm -hmm. They're both T6s. They custom Cerakote job from Airsoft and more. So they basically took our idea and created this for the Joker and the Black Panther right over here. It looks like a beast. I'm a big fan. Yo, Tom. So, um, 
Uh, what's this unique thing that you got to show us? Go, 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 go. Apparently, there's a unique thing. So, I'll give you a sneak peek, but uh, it's real quick. Right? Okay, it's a really quick, yeah. A box, guys. We've got a box. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so... <laughs> wow. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna still frame that, so you can see it forever. There you go. Great. You see it? Look at that. Hey, amazing. Thank you. That's really, really cool. That's super cool. And that is everything at KWA. If you like some KWA products, let us know in the comment section below. We already have loads in stock, so don't be afraid to check our website at TriggerAirsoft.com. Now we're going to go somewhere else, but on another episode.